Hi guys, thanks for checking out this video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to swap out the servo in your HPI Venture FJ Cruiser. Um, so what I've got here is, this is a mostly stock uh, Venture Cruiser. Um, it's, uh, I've done a little bit of work to it. I've wa waterproofed the, uh, the servo. You can check out the, uh, the video for that in the description um, uh, elsewhere in the Venture playlist. But um, I'm going to be going to a big crawler meet this weekend. So um, I wanted to make sure I upgraded it to uh, what a lot of people consider to be the best bang for buck servo that you can get for crawling, which is the Savox uh, 1210SG. So Martin from RC Bits was kind enough to uh, to hook me up with a good deal on this particular one. Uh, fully waterproof, very very strong servo. Um, and let's see, I think it's 0.15 at 20 kilos of torque. Uh, that's 277.7 uh, ounce inches of torque. That is so much torque. Um, probably the strong, strongest servo I've ever used, to be honest. Um, so basically, it's a very simple operation. Um, all we're going to do first is, um, uh, well, first, the tools. You need a 1.5 mil and a 2 mil uh, hex wrench. And we're just going to open up the receiver box, unplug the servo, and then get in under here, uh, take out the servo, uh, take the servo uh, arm off, um, take out the servo itself, Take the servo horn off and put it onto the uh, onto the Savox servo, which hopefully will fit. I haven't actually checked. I can't remember if it's a 25 uh, tooth. I think it's a 25. I did look online, but um, anyway, if it uh, if it is something we have to change, then no biggie. So first off, 1.5 mil screw uh, hex to um, hex wrench to take off these screws here and you don't need to take them all the way out it's just how they're coming out for me I don't like to take them all the way out because then I tend to lose them somewhere on the carpet so I'm just going to put the screws in the lid and set that to the side so I don't lose it okay so now it's this wire with the orange lead and I'm just going to unplug it so there we are, and now we get our 2 mil hex wrench, and we're just going to take the steering arm off the servo horn, put the bolt back in place so we don't lose that. You can tell I don't like losing parts. Uh, one thing I did forget was that to access the the two screws that hold the front of the servo on, we are going to have to remove uh, three more screws. So there's two holding the pan hard uh, mount on, and then there's one on the other side. So let's get to those. So it is honestly a pretty simple operation, but um, sometimes it's good to see how to actually do it. So this allows us to remove the front bumper completely. And we've got the wires for the winch in there, so we're just we're not going to completely remove it from the uh, picture. But uh, okay, so now we can access the front two screws, and now the back two screws. Sorry, you can't see that. Okay, so now we just have to kind of drop it out from the top. There we go. So if you saw my video on how to waterproof your stock servo, that's still the grease that's on there. Um, so it is very messy. 
at the moment, but uh, we're just going to hold on to the servo horn and there we are. Okay. So now we've got the servo all by itself, albeit a bit messy, so I'm going to have to find a plastic bag for it somewhere just to stick it in for storage. Now we can open up this guy and we'll see if the... Uh, I've never actually used this servo before. So I like how it comes in this uh, little toolbox. That's pretty cool. Scale toolbox. So, okay, so we've got some vibration mounting things. We can probably use these metal pieces, these little top hat shaped pieces uh, for the mounting. How many are there? Hopefully there's four. Because the plastic ones broke uh, on me because I tightened the screws too much. So the metal ones have come in very handy. We're not going to need the rest of these screws, I don't think, but it is very good to keep hardware uh, available. I don't see a machine screw in there. I oh, know. Those look like M3 threads, so we should be all right. Just a matter of the the number of teeth on the servo. So there we are. The SW1210SG. So first thing we need to do is actually center it. Which I had forgotten about. So we are going to plug this in. And I've got most of the standard electronics in this still. So um, I have swapped it for... Uh, for a LiPo battery, for a Dean's connector, a T Dean's type connector. So just gonna switch the radio on, put this on. Okay, so that's, everything is on. And I'm just spinning the servo. So you might not be able to tell, but it's there. Okay, so now it's centered. And we wanna make sure that this is as centered as possible and we're lucky, we're, it's, uh, it is 25 uh, tooth. So now that's on there, and so that's good. And just going to wipe off this screw and get some thread lock on there. Thread lock is life. This thing puts out way too much uh, thread locker. Blue is all you need. You don't need the uh, really hardcore red stuff. So we're just going to line this up so it's as centered as possible. So obviously that's one way. If we go one tooth over, it's only just slightly less. It's still off center, but it's only slightly off centered. So we're going to use this mounting. And then put that screw in there. Doesn't feel like the M3 is working. So let's get back in the screw bag. Ah, here we are. So we've got these, the screw bag with the servo horns. I can hear people shouting at me now. The screw bag with the servo horns is the one that we wanted. It is a Phillips head screw, so that's interesting. So again, we're going to get some thread lock on there. Kick that screw out and put this screw in. That washer's not gonna fit, so we'll make do without it.
and we've got a small Phillips head screw. Okay, so now we've got that through there, yay. Now we're gonna put the servo horn back on. And there we are, nice and tight. Now we can set the steering trim so that that is as centered as we possibly can get it. So there we are, very good. Okay, so now we're just gonna put this in, in well actually, it comes in from the bottom, doesn't it? So. There we are. And now we're gonna get We get these little metal top hats and And insert the install, finish installing the servo. So now it's just a matter of reinstalling everything. Um, in the reverse order. So pretty straightforward from here on out. Yes, there we are. Yep. Uh, so the steering is all installed. Everything is together now. Um, as you can see, I've done a couple other things uh, since uh, since I finished the video. But uh, yeah, there it is. Um, all ready to go. So of course I, I put some tires and uh, kind of finishing up the, the winch install and some other stuff. So, um, but yep. Yeah. Very happy with that. I'm about to go give it a test drive out in the backyard, um, but there we are. So um, I hope you enjoyed that. I uh, found it informative. I want to thank uh, Martin from RC Bits. Um, let me find, there we are, RC Bits. Thank you very much. Um, he's uh, the leading uh, UK supplier of uh, crawler stuff. Um, pretty much everything. Um, so thanks again, Martin. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, found it informative, uh, please give us a thumbs up um, and uh, check us out at, uh, on the channel. Um, check out that subscribe link and ask any questions you might have down in the comments below. Uh, don't mind anything else that you might see here. There's a, a little bit of messiness that I'm trying to trying to clean up, but uh, yeah, just getting it ready for the big weekend tomorrow. So. Um, Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed that, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.